I think of feminism as um, having opened up people's thinking about what it means to carve out your life as a man or as a woman or not, or somewhere in between. It has expanded. It really had an extremely liberating effect, certainly on me and I think on a, on a lot of other people, in that um, it makes it possible to think that you can actually design and create your own life and that you don't have to live in gender role stereotypes and that um, you can be a self-created person. At the time that I photographed Felicity, which was in the, um, around 1984, um, she was already quite elderly. First, I think I'll tell you about what I saw when I walked in. There was this very nice, very um, well put together elderly lady sitting on her sofa and right behind her as you'll see, is a beautiful photograph hanging on the wall. It's quite large, and it's a picture that little John, who was called John most of his life, um, uh, it was a photograph taken by his father of himself, as a little, uh, dressed as a little girl, with his mother. And the reason he was dressed as a little girl is that this was the day that he was going to get his first haircut, and it was quite common at that point, at that time, for little boys to have long hair. And so they dressed him up in the clothing of the little girl across the street, and they took a series of lovely pictures, and then they went and got his hair cut. <clears throat> and the pictures were put away, and it wasn't until he was 12 years old that John ran across these pictures in the attic. And they, they, feel, they brought back the feeling of this really wonderful day that he had experienced with his parents, of the wind blowing through his, up his, his little dress and, and the attention and the sun and the, just the whole feeling of, of attention that he'd gotten as this very pretty little girl. And that's when, in his case, his cross-dressing started. It is possible to create a satisfying life for yourself as a person who's bi-gendered, which is what I, or cross, a cross-dresser, which is really somebody who goes back and forth, as in the case of John slash Felicity, that it does not have to be seen as it usually has been by the media, some horrible, bizarre, grotesque, tragic thing.